Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. I'm here with my brother, he's just getting some pens because we're gonna be doing, sitting down and doing a GCSE paper from 2018. I think we're gonna do the non-calculator one just to test our knowledge. I wanted to do this for quite some time because I've wanted to see like, I think looking back GCSEs seem so much easier than A-levels and anything like that, don't they Tommy? What? GCSEs looking back seem like really easy, don't they? Yeah, especially you doing A-level math. I think math seems the easiest one. Um, I don't think I can speak for English, but oh. yeah. So I want to do it now and see if after doing A-level maths, because me and Tommy have both done A-level maths, I'm at uni now and Tommy's about to start uni. Yeah. Um, after doing it, see if we're any better. And we're going to be competing against each other, so see who wins. What? Tommy's done maths. Um, obviously, I've had a year since I've done any A-level math, so... Also, my maths course was slightly different to Georgie's. Yeah, Tommy's was a little bit harder. Yes, it was. Just a little. Anyone else who's done the, this year's maths, you'll know. <laughs> Tommy <laughs> Tommy's take, arms. Take one. <laughs> oh, yeah, tell them. <laughs> I burnt my arm here. But anyway, so I'll show you the paper in a second. So this is the paper that we're going to be doing. Damn it, I need a pen. Hang on, can I borrow this pen? Yeah, that's what I brought it for. Thanks. Um, yeah, this is the paper that we're doing, paper one, non-calculator from Edexcel, um, 2018, and yeah, I, I'll show you the first question. This is the first question. What, what the hell is a mixed number? <laughs> Wait, I must be in that format. God, I'm terrible at this. Mixed number. No idea what mixed is. You got. Well, the camera doesn't know we're just debating about this question. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> anyway, I just. Well, what I was thinking is, is that. Originally, I thought of this this distance from here to here was four, but it's not. However, you've got your triangle here, and you're going to know this distance here, which is three, and you know that that's five. So picture your triangle there. Um, you've got three centimeters there and five. Oh no, sorry. Picture this triangle here. My brain hurts. I'm not going to oh, lie. And you know this is three. That's five. This is now the hypotenuse. So five squared plus three squared. That's twenty-five plus nine. That's going to be 34. So what's the square root of 34? How are you supposed to draw an accurate... Form? I've just put not applicable because I just can't answer the question. Oh it's only two marks. It's, it says draw an accurate elevation of the pyramid from the direction of the arrow. Uh-oh. And then the next question's a four mark and it says work out the total can, surface can, area of the pyramid. Can I pyramid. just point out it's 30 degrees? What's 30 degrees? Today, oh, 30 outside. degree heat, yeah. yeah. So it's kind of tiring. Yeah, you look sweaty on the camera. Oh, great. Um, I don't think I can answer the second one, either. Really? You can? Can you, without doing the first one? Well, no, because I, I know I can get the first one. Oh, I can't. I can't believe the day I'm I'm so I can't be here. Watch it out. Yeah, but don't tell me, because I in need to test myself, don't I? It's more obvious. Tell me after. It's obvious. Obvious. Can I'm I give you a hint? Can balls. I give you a hint? What? Can I give... It's saying the front view is there. Yeah. But it can be anywhere around this triangle, and if you if you look at it from a different angle, you yeah, get but are all sides the same? Oh, the yes. base of the pyramid is square. Yeah. So that means that all sides are the same. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, I might just retrace my steps. That's accurate enough for me. It probably because it wants the squares to be a centimetre each or something. Yeah. Total surface area. So it's going to be six root. This is probably thirds, you know. No, it's not thirds. I think it is. I don't think it is. If you're using roots. Yeah, but you can't be because it tells you should draw an accurate. And you can't really be accurate with thirds on a bit of paper, can you? Forgotten thirds. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag 
Poobles! Yeah, I think I've got the answer. Okay, we'll just talk about it after. Also, Two let's get break. units. Units? Oh. Units? What units? I want a good, like, uh, area question. I don't. I think I feel like I'm struggling already. Really? Yeah. A pattern is made from... F oh, sorry. <laughs> imagine if you did that in the exam. Imagine if you just started reading out the questions out loud. That would not be good. Not good. Hang on, let me balance the camera. Hi, of course you wanted to see my face. Couldn't answer this question here. Question 11, this is the question. You haven't even started yet. I, no, I, I've given up before I start it because I can't up. answer it. What? I can't do it. I can't. It doesn't give you any information. Hang on, there's 300 and, there's 180 degrees in a triangle, is that right? Well, yeah, all angles. That's all I know. Yeah? Do you think you'll get a mark for writing that? Yeah, there's but... 180 degrees. <laughs> triangle. And 360 degrees in a circle. That's where my knowledge stretches to. Oh, you're right, I put go eat turds because I didn't, I didn't know what to put. Tommy, how are you getting on? Uh, it's alright. I mean, some questions are a bit hard, but we haven't, like, A-level, we we get taught stuff, and then at GCSE, you know, when we go to A-level, some of the GCSE stuff's left behind, and then yeah. that's come up in this. Yeah, some of the stuff that we did in GCSE is, is not done in A-level, so therefore... Like, right. for example, um, oh, that was it, this question, the box plot. Box um, plots and box stuff plots. like that. Like, simple stuff, but then if you haven't done it for a few years, like, I haven't done it for three GCSEs for three years, then it's like it just slips your mind. Doesn't it? Anyway, I haven't got that long left. A few more questions, and then I think we're going to swap them and mark each other's. Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Wait, was you filming this entire time? Oh no, just a little. I did a bit earlier. <laughs> Your teeth look white. All right, I'm on question 16. Oh my God, look how tanned my arm look looks. Look how tanned mine is. I burnt my arm, as you can see. Oh my God, that's not even tanned, that's burnt. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, look at my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Apical dominance in biology. <laughs> <laughs> There are only red Shush. cow- Sorry. Absolutely smash that question. Anything with algebra is always good. Oh my God, I didn't know you got sign graphs in GCSE. I never saw this. What is this sorcery? Oh, I get it. It's a translation question. Does perpendicular mean like that? Mm -hmm. No, no, right angle. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's dim. That's easy. What? Don't matter. I can't remember I can't how to work out equation of a line using two coordinates. What? Oh. oh. I'll give you a tip, right? Is it like y squared re minus re b? Or? Re rearrange that to y equals. Yeah, but I'm trying to work out the equation of this line. What line? P. P and Q. You c you don't you can't do that yet. <laughs> you need to. You need and to what's the expression for that? What do you mean? In terms oh, of a and y two minus y one over a. Oh yeah, that's it. Y two minus y one. Yeah, you can't over. do that. Over. Yeah. Y two minus y one divided. It's a change in y divided by the change in x. No, that's the gradient, not the equation of the line. Oh, sorry. What do you mean? What is? Yeah. Oh, I see why you're doing the gradient. Oh, you don't need the equation, you need the gradient. Because if it's perpendicular, the gradient's 1 over, isn't it? What are you going to title the video? A level math students try to do Oh my god, I'm still recording. I've been recording for 14 minutes. Oh yeah, I don't right. care. We're going to mark our papers. Um, we're going to mark our own, we've decided, because then we can like learn. But we're going to be fair. Aren't we, Tommy? Yes. Because I don't care if I've done bad, because that's just funny. Yeah. It's just a test for the video. So... And if we all get bullied in the comments for this, then you're a sad person. So bully us, please. Yeah. 
we're doing the markings. I'm doing all right, but I still think I've probably got like a C or something. Um, but I did get a B in math, so to get a C now would be good. In fact, I can't speak too soon in case I don't get a C. Um, question 12. Uh, did you answer 14? Uh, hang on, I ain't got that yet. I put, for the answer for question 12, I put fall in a hole. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. I knew it was like, there's a constant in front of it. Otherwise I'm gonna be working it out. Wait a second, well, what's 14? Cause uh, you know it's that question, oh. it's like proportion. I knew it was like six lots of it, but oh, damn it. That's so annoyed. I got y equals 400 over 36x cubed to the power of four. That's what you got? Yeah. Where did you, where, how did you get that? Do you divide that by four, would that give you nine? It would, it gives you the right answer. No, it gives you eight. No, it doesn't. Nine, oh, 18 oh. times two is 36, and that's 36. What? So I got the right answer, just to not say. How do you get the right answer and not know how to do it? I did know how to do it then, obviously, if I got the right answer. Well, fair enough. <laughs> hang well, on, how did you, hang on, do you want me to show you how I did it? No, I know how you did it. How did I do it? You put, well, no, you just, it's the same thing as, you pull up the numbers in, times it out, and whatever, how, how many times bigger it is. Yeah. It's got to be the constant in front of it. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. I know how to work it out. Okay. And to think I didn't know the answer. Yes, boys. Hang on a minute. I think this is wrong. What? How? The 15. What did you get? And what's 15? For part, the, for part B. I got the right answer, though. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I got... Where's my answer? 4x squared minus 12. And Tommy have finished marking. We're about to reveal who is the winner. Um, okay, I'll show you what I got first. I got 51 out of 80. Dad, I got 51 out of 80. Oh. Um, which wow. is which is a 7 in the new like grading system. Even though when I was doing maths it was... 7 is an 8. Even though when I was doing maths it was letters. Tommy... What? Let's see what you got. 61. I didn't write oh, it down. Oh, okay. Tommy got 61. So I got 51 and Tommy got 61. Mm -hmm. Even though he... I did my GCSEs three years ago and he did his yeah, two years ago. I helped you out a few questions. Well, I helped you out. That's on true, a question. but not on the more wide. Right, so, um, so that Tommy that. got an 8. I'll take that. In the new system. There's some stuff on this paper, which is... So I got a 7 and Tommy got an 8. So... That's an 8 star. What, uh, what, what year was this paper from? 18 last 2018. Year. Oh. So I think, considering I haven't done GCSEs in three years, I'm pretty happy with that score. I'll take mine as well. There's a few things that I couldn't do, but the reason why I couldn't do them is because I haven't done them for three years, whereas some stuff I have uh, done in uh, A-level math. How do you know it was... Oh, I see. So there we go. So that's the end of the video. We could try doing um, a science paper, couldn't we, Tommy? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I'd never do an English paper because you yeah, can't really so mark science that. Is different. Well, it's not it's really. It's completely different than chemistry. Is, I don't think it chemistry is. is. I we think we should. We can try it. Okay, all, all give the video now. a thumbs up if you want us to do science. All you've got to do now is get out and get a job and earn some money. I have a job. No, we're still learning. So yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you want us to do chemistry or biology for GCSE or whatever. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's been a success. Tommy, have you had fun? Oh, that was more fun than I thought, yeah. <laughs> Well, no, actually I actually did better than I thought. I thought I would fail badly. I, I was hoping I'd get somewhere around that, to be fair. I mean, you've just done A-level maths, haven't you? Yeah, true. Anyway, um, subscribe and see you soon. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. Where's the lens?